On a rocky outcrop at dawn, a small, dark shape moves out of a cave to graze on native grasses. Looking up and out over the cliff, the small face surveys the hills of the Little Liverpool Range, southwest of Ipswich. Hunted for fur, preyed on by feral animals, isolated by landscape fragmentation, it's thought that only around 15 to 30,000 brushtail rock wallabies survive along the Great Dividing Range from eastern Victoria through New South Wales to southeast Queensland. And this is one of those places. Welcome to Aruna, place of running water, a 2,000 hectare permanent reserve owned and managed by the Queensland Trust for Nature. My name is Nerida Bradley, General Manager of QTFN. Brushtail rock wallabies can climb tall trees with their sharp claws and strong legs. They use their thick brush tails for balance and grip. They can climb almost vertical rocks. Highly territorial, they live in small family groups. We're using wildlife cameras and facial recognition technology to better understand behaviour, as well as dietary analysis of predator scats to understand threats and impacts from various predators. Aruna is also home to other threatened species, koalas, powerful owls, glossy black cockatoos. It's also home to a working herd of 300 cattle. Aruna has been a working cattle property for more than 50 years and since being donated to us in 2015, QTFN has used sustainable grazing as our key land management tool for weed control, fire risk management, scientific research and income generation to fund ongoing property management costs. been doing a lot of weeding, we've got rid of a lot of lantana, um, we've also been getting rid of the broadleaf pepper and so these um, invasive species are clogging the creek lines and preventing the, the native animals from accessing different parts of the property and from moving th freely through the landscape. In conjunction with a massive land restoration project, cattle operations at Aruna demonstrate that conservation and production can coexist. Since 2004, QTFN has protected more than 100,000 hectares of ecologically important land across Queensland, but we can't do it alone. There are so many ways to get involved with QTFN. Volunteer some time, make a donation, become a corporate sponsor. Everywhere we work, we partner to protect, and we would love to work with you.